Okay, y'all, I wanted to do this little, I guess, rant or whatever about the Cowboys and the Chicago Bears game yesterday. Now, I'm going to start off with this. How the hell the Chicago, I mean, how the hell the Cowboys going to let Chicago Bears win 31 to 24? The Bears had 31. Yeah, the Bears was on their own turf or whatever, but I mean, damn, come on, Cowboys. Y'all got to win something. This is three L's in a row. Damn, this is just ridiculous. I mean, I still, don't get me wrong, I still love my Cowboys, and I still love me some Zeke, but these Cowboys need help. Like, some serious help. Something ain't going right. They back, they, now nah, they sucking like the Texans was sucking. Like, damn, come on now. And y'all don't get me started on the Texans. I cannot stand Kayemi Fabio. And I'm just going to insert this right here. And leave that right there where it lay. But. And a little another note on that. I don't care if Kayemi Fabio, however the hell you say this damn no kicking nigga name. If you come across it and he don't like my video, so be it. Or somebody show it to him or somebody say something about it to each his own. Like I say, this is my channel. I say what I want on it. Just as long as I'm not harming nobody or threatening nobody or nothing like that. But, and it's not nothing bad. I'm just giving my opinion to each his own. If you like him, you like him. If you don't, you don't. But that's a whole nother thing. Back to what I was saying. I just, these cowboys got two. They actually put up some points. They put up 24 points. But, to me it feels like, and I'm not, like I say, and I'm going to continue to say, and I'll say it again. I'm not a big football type of person. <sighs> oh, excuse me, y'all. But, I cannot stand. I don't understand how the hell. Y'all get 24 points, and y'all let them get 31? I mean, I know it's just a game, and I know... Nobody wants to lose on their own turf. But look at the Cowboys. How many times they've lost on their own turf? That is just ridiculous. Like, come on now. Come on. This don't make no goddamn it cop picking snake eating sense. It's just ridiculous. Y'all lose. They, these damn Cowboys are, are starting to lose everywhere they go. I mean, it just don't make no sense. I don't know what's going on. But. Like I say. I'm just not getting interested in watching the Cowboys no more because the more I watch it, the more they lose. The more I don't watch it, the more they still lose. Like, damn, is y'all ever going to win anything? You know them Cowboys not going to no playoffs. They not going to no Super Bowl. Not no time soon until they get their act together. Like I said, and then you got somebody blaming the coach. Then you got some people blaming the general manager. I don't know if he's the general manager or the owner, Jerry Jones, but he won on both of them. But you got somebody blaming both of them. I'm like, damn. It's the players, too. It's everybody's fault. Maybe it's the coach's fault. Maybe it's the owner's fault. Maybe it's the general manager. Maybe it's the players. You never know. I don't know what's going on. I ain't there. But all I can say is, y'all got it together enough to get 24 points. Y'all need to get it together enough to start winning. At least win three in a row. Or at least start out like y'all did. Win one, lose one. Win one, lose one. Damn, why can't y'all win one, lose one, then win two, then win two more, then lose one, then win two more. Like that. Like that. It don't make no sense. This is just not cute. To me, it's like the Cowboys just... I don't know. And then they got two of the Texans players from the last couple of seasons ago. They used to be with the Texans. They got Xavier Sofilo and Christian Covington. Is that why they sucking? I don't know. I don't think so. Because if it was, they would have been losing all their games. But I can guarantee you they ain't going to be taking nobody else from, Tex from the Texans no more no time soon. I mean, this shit here is just not cute. Y'all need to get some of They need to get some of their rookies out there and let them try to play. Hell, because y'all keep using these veterans... They're getting old, they're getting towed up, they're getting beat up by J.J. Watt. 
but they getting all beat up. Put in some new people too. Mix them up. That's why you got a whole rookie team. That's why you got a whole team of players nobody ever hear about, nobody ever seen, nobody ever know about. Because you don't play them. They're just there. At least they're still getting paid though, but they're just there. Use some of them. That's what they come to the team for. Excuse me, they come to the team to play. Don't just let them sit there. I mean, who the hell else wouldn't mind? At the same time, who else wouldn't mind? Sitting on their ass, getting just basically getting paid to sit on their ass, or just getting paid to show up to work and not do nothing. Hell, I love to get paid millions of dollars just to show up to work and not do nothing. But hey, in this case, if y'all wanna you y'all wanna at least try to win something and try to get out of that rut of losing three, four, five games in a row, at least before you fire anybody, at least start looking at trying to rotate some of your players around. That's what the hell the players are for. Y'all keep using all these veteran players. They're going to keep getting hurt. Keep getting hurt. Eventually, you're going to have to take somebody. <coughs> Excuse me. Take some of the couple peoples from your rookie team and put them in. I mean, they yeah, they are rookies, but they should like, they eventually, excuse me, eventually, they're going to have to get out there and learn the field, get out there and play on the field, get the field for, get a feeling for the field. I don't know, y'all. I just don't know. This still just sucks. These Cowboys are sucking. And I'm sad to say I'm sad to have to say that. And I'm sorry to have to say that. But Cowboys, y'all are really starting to suck right now. I mean, that don't mean that I don't love y'all no more. Y'all ain't my favorite team no more. Because y'all always gonna be. I'm always gonna love y'all. Especially you, Zeke. But, Zeke is my boo. But, and Dak is like my little big brother but the whole thing is y'all need to try to put in a couple of the rookies grab a fistful of them and sprinkle them in there and then see how it work if it start working good and y'all start winning from there then y'all know what y'all need to do y'all know what was wrong from the beginning y'all using all these same old people i understand i'm not gonna look at Dak prescott because he the quarterback keep that keep zeke um Alternate between some of the players like Michael Gallup, Randall Cobb. Keep it in Michael Bennett if you want to. Um, what is that damn dude's name? Number 77. Uh, not Jalen Smith. Y'all can alternate him too if you want to. But the other Smith, Tyron Smith. I know that's not how you say his name. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry I messed up your name, but that's how I remember your name, Tyron. Um, Jason Witten. Alternate some of them for some of the rookies. Take them, let them sit down for a little bit and then bring the rookies in and let them play. I mean, give them somebody some kind of action. I'm pretty sure it'll work better. That way y'all probably see, start seeing some kind of improvement. But hey. I'm just saying, this is just speaking from a fan's point of view. So, I mean, it's just speaking from a fan's point of view. I mean, it's just how I feel. And what I think would make it better is if y'all use some of the rookies. But y'all can do what y'all want to do. I don't care. Y'all, if y'all keep doing what y'all doing, the way y'all doing, y'all going to continue to lose. Because y'all doing all this, keep pushing and pushing. It's like having a, a old 1957 Chevy and y'all just keep using it, keep using it, keep using it. It's going to break down. You're going to have to start putting other new apart, to start doing something new, something different to get a better result. I don't know. But hey, I'm just speaking. I'm not, like I say, I'm not a big football person. I don't know all the ins and outs of football. I don't know all the details and it, whatever little phrase or whatever mean. I just know the team that I like and I want them to win. And right now I'm just giving my opinion on what I think would have helped the team win. Alternate some of y'all players. Take some of the currently chronically used players. 
players out for a little bit. I mean, I'm not saying like take them out the game. I'm just saying when the next game, let a couple of them sit down and put a couple rookies in. Put like two to five rookies in with everybody else. Anywhere in between now would be good. But hey, it is what it is. It's their opinion, their choice, what they want to do. I'm just giving my opinion. Other than that, y'all have a good night. Bye, y'all. That's all I got to say.